Gentlemen, let's talk honestly. That title is a big promise, but I'm making it because the science behind what I'm about to show you is undeniable. Now, you almost certainly have a coffee machine in your kitchen. It's the engine that gets your day started. And in a minute, I'll show you the red key, just three ingredients, beet, pomegranate, and lemon. I'll also show a 30-second weekday version that doesn't need a juicer. But what if I told you that for years, you've been starting the engine without the key? That you're missing the single most important step to unlock real, sustainable energy? What if I told you that the key isn't the coffee itself, but a simple, inexpensive drink you consume beforehand that triggers a natural release of a specific gas in your body? A gas that makes your entire vascular system more flexible and efficient from the moment you wake up. Today, we're not just adding a new drink to your routine. We are finally putting the key in the ignition. Let me make this real. One of my patients, mid-40s, told me, Doc, I'm tired, wired, and anxious by 9 a.m. We didn't remove coffee. We didn't add supplements. We added one step before coffee for seven days. By the end of the week, he said, My energy feels smooth. No crash. No jitters. Not magic. Mechanism. And I'll show you exactly how to run it today. And stay to the end, because I'm going to give you two things most videos never mention. The one morning habit that can blunt a big part of the nitric oxide effect, and the exact timing window so you get the benefit without giving up coffee. If you want clean energy that feels steady, not jittery, hit like and comment ready so I know you're doing this with me. So what does it mean to start the engine without the key? It means you're asking your body to perform at 100% when its systems are at their absolute weakest. I call this period the morning danger zone. Every single morning, three critical things are happening inside your body that work against you. First, your blood is thick. After seven to eight hours without hydration, the water content in your blood is lower, making it more viscous. Think of it as trying to pump syrup through a straw instead of water. Your heart has to work much harder. Second, your blood vessels are tight. Your body naturally releases the stress hormone cortisol to wake you up. It's effective, but it also has the side effect of causing your blood vessels to constrict or narrow. And third, the most crucial part, the missing key itself, your nitric oxide levels have bottomed out. Nitric oxide is a miracle molecule, a gas your body produces to tell your arteries to relax, widen, and allow blood to flow freely. After a long night of inactivity, your body's production of this gas is at its lowest point of the entire day. So, let's paint the picture. You have thick blood, narrow pipes, and the one molecule that can open those pipes is practically gone. This is the perfect storm. This is why research on circadian rhythms has observed a morning peak in cardiovascular strain and adverse events. One reason mornings are worth treating with more intention. Now, imagine adding coffee in the middle of that storm. Caffeine can cause blood vessel constriction in some people, especially when you're already underslept, dehydrated, or stressed. So for some bodies, it becomes a brute force way up. Quick jolt now, then jittery energy, and a harder crash later. Quick self-check you can do right now, no gadgets. When you wake up tomorrow, notice two things, how warm your hands feel and how clear your brain feels at 11 a.m. Then do the red key for seven days and compare. We're not guessing, we're running a simple personal experiment. And stay with me because there's one common morning mistake that can cancel a big part of the nitric oxide benefit and most people do it without realizing. But we can change that. We can forge the key. And that key is designed to do one thing brilliantly, command your body to produce a flood of nitric oxide, turning that dangerous morning state into your most powerful hour. This key is made of three components. These three work as a team. One creates nitric oxide, one protects it, one boosts your vessel enzymes first, the engine block, beetroot. This humble root vegetable is nature's most potent source of dietary nitrates. And here is where the magic happens. The good bacteria on your tongue convert these nitrates into nitrites. Then your stomach acid transforms those nitrites into pure nitric oxide gas. You are literally taking a vegetable and transforming it into a powerful, artery-relaxing medicine inside your own body. 
This isn't just a small effect. There's research showing beetroot can support blood pressure and circulation, especially in people who respond well to dietary nitrates. Second, we need to protect our key. That's the job of the pomegranate. Nitric oxide is powerful but incredibly fragile. Free radicals in your body can destroy it in seconds. The potent antioxidants in pomegranate act as a personal bodyguard for your nitric oxide molecules, protecting them from damage and allowing them to circulate and work their magic for much, much longer. Finally, beetroot is rich in dietary nitrates. Your mouth bacteria help convert nitrates into nitrites, and your body can then use that to support nitric oxide availability. One reason beetroot is studied for blood flow and blood pressure support in some people. Pomegranate brings polyphenol that may help protect nitric oxide from oxidative breakdown, so the effect can last longer. And lemon adds vitamin C, which supports healthy endothelial function, basically helping your blood vessel lining do its job more efficiently. So do you see? This isn't just a healthy smoothie. It's a precisely engineered biochemical solution to a specific biological problem. It is the missing key. Now let's make this practical because a key you don't use is worthless. On a relaxed weekend, using a juicer is the gold standard. One small beet, seeds from about half a pomegranate, a generous squeeze of lemon. You get all the live enzymes and the taste is incredibly fresh. But on a busy weekday, that's not my reality, and I'm guessing it's not yours either. For those days, we use the efficient method. High-quality, organic beetroot and pomegranate powders are lifesavers. Here's a mistake most people don't expect, using antibacterial mouthwash right before this. Your oral bacteria help convert dietary nitrates into the next step your body uses. If you wipe them out with a strong antiseptic mouthwash immediately beforehand, you may blunt part of the pathway. Simple fix. If you use mouthwash, don't do it right before your red key, do it later in the day. Now, mistake number two, the one that ruins results for a lot of people. They turn this into a sugary juice. Keep it unsweetened, no added sugar, no syrup. You want the benefits without a glucose spike. One scoop of each, a squeeze of lemon, add water, and shake. It takes less than a minute. Here's the 30 second version, write this down. Step one, water in a shaker. Step two, one scoop beet, one scoop pomegranate. Step three, lemon squeeze, shake, drink. That's it, no blender, no juicer, no excuses. And here's how you seamlessly integrate it. This becomes the very first step of your coffee ritual. Drink this while your coffee is brewing. Now let me make this fit real life. If you're a desk worker, Drink this, then do 60 seconds of calf pumps while your coffee brews. Your calves are often called a second heart because they help push blood back up. If you train in the morning, this becomes a clean pre-workout base, then coffee after. If you're traveling, powders plus lemon packets in your bag. Airport coffee doesn't get to be first anymore. If mornings are chaotic, drink it while you're packing your bag. It's designed to be frictionless. By the time you pour your first cup, this red key has already been working for 15 minutes, opening up your entire vascular system. The caffeine then flows into a system that is primed and ready, giving you a cleaner, smoother energy without the jitters or the vascular stress. You've turned the key before starting the engine. Quick note, this is educational, not personal medical advice. If you're on blood pressure meds, nitrate meds, blood thinners, or you have kidney issues, check with your clinician before trying this. Quick rapid fire questions I always get. Will beets turn my urine pink? Sometimes, totally harmless for many people. What if my blood pressure runs low? Go slow, smaller amount, and talk to your clinician if you're unsure. Medications? If you're on blood pressure meds, nitrate type meds, blood thinners, or you have kidney issues, check first. The goal is safe, steady improvement, not extremes. I want you to feel this difference for yourself. So I'm issuing a simple challenge, the seven day ignition challenge. For just one week, forge and use this key every morning before your coffee. That's it. Don't change anything else. Just add this one step. And don't guess, track three numbers for seven days, your 11 a.m. energy, your 3 p.m. crash, and if you have it, blood pressure. That's how you'll know it's real. Pay attention. Become an expert on your own body. 
How does your energy feel mid-morning? Do you experience that 3 p.m. crash? Is your thinking clearer? The results you feel will be more persuasive than any study I can quote. If you are ready to finally put the key in your ignition, go to the comments right now and write, I'm starting. Make that commitment to yourself. And this is just the first step. Opening your arteries in the morning is powerful, but keeping them open all day, especially when you're sitting at a desk, is the next level. In the very next video, I'm going to show you a two minute mobility snack that counteracts the damage of sitting and keeps this blood flow optimized. Click the link on the screen to continue. Thank you for being here. It's time to stop just starting your engine and start truly powering it up.